Hey, good afternoon. I am at out in a park. I'm at Shrum Mound. Um, it is Wednesday afternoon, about three o'clock, and beautiful day. Monday, I had surgery on my hand. Um, my left hand um, to help alleviate the the carpal tunnel and effects of arthritis and um, my hand was locking up on me and I was dropping things I started dropping things a couple years ago and um, over a couple years ago and I had it looked at and they said it needed an operation and I wasn't really sure if I wanted one then because I had just gotten an operation on my uterus and also gone through getting my legs operated on. So I really didn't want another surgery. So I needed a break from surgery and anesthesia and chemicals in my system. So it was time. And then next month I'll be getting the right hand operated on as soon as this one, they said it takes about a month or so to heal up good. And I'm finding out just how dependent I was on my left hand, which was, which is so funny. Um, my left hand is my strongest hand. I um, about do everything with my left hand except right and a few other um, things of necessity or so so um, mostly what's called ambidextrous which is using both my hands pretty equally um, and I'm so glad to get it worked on because now I can tell the difference um, just wiggling the fingers they are swollen and a little discolored but just wiggling them the the pain is not so so much and even in my thumb being able to move it without the pain that I notice in my right hand um, the incision hurts that hurts but other than that I'm fine so a lot of changes in my life since um, the first of the year I'm losing weight steadily but for some odd reason I've got this craving for salt and salty things so um, try to get that under control and I'm trying to drink more water making better choices for food um, and every once in a while I have some junk food or you know chips or something sweet but I don't make it a habit even when choosing junk food I try to get popcorn or nuts or trying to do that kind of thing but nuts I can't chew so good without um, you know with blank spots in my teeth so starting to you know think about those things a little more and just drinking plenty of water lemon water um, grapefruit water which I'm going to get some grapefruit oil from um, young Living and start adding that to my water and maybe up maybe some grapefruit juice and um, coconut oil and cucumber and stuff that kind of helps get the fat flush the fat from your system get the you know help me out a little bit um, doctor wanted to put me on something called Topamax which will help supposedly regulate my brain into and help me lose weight along with you know it helps the depression and all that stuff too but uh, I'm not so much on putting chemicals into my body anymore seem like the more chemicals you put in your body the more chemicals your body you know I don't want my body getting dependent upon chemicals just like with the pain medication with this hand um, I don't like being dependent upon pain medication I want the body has its own pain receptors and stuff and you know pain fighters and I want my own body to do what it can unless it gets real throbby 
or before I go to bed, which is hard because when you move around in your sleep, like I do, um, it's hard to keep something straight. And once I get this bandage off, I'll put my splints, my heart splints, back on to until it, um, you know, regulates itself a little bit. So, I know I have not been hanging out, um, really, or going to many, um, I'm only going to a few things now and then because I'm taking classes with a small business development and classes with the New Directions Career Center, and I'm working on me. And um, hopefully, I'm looking for an apartment that is by income or at least a lower price than I'm paying now because winter will be coming and I can't afford the rent I'm paying now, along with heat. I can't do both. <laughs> um, I could until my rent went up, but I can't pay for rent and heat at the same time. And I'm also looking for a part-time job, which... I do kind of have a lead and I'm gonna follow up on that lead she told me after my hands get operated on um, a recruiter from uh, church residencies you know um, they really need STNAs and I'm not an STNA but I have done some home health care and I do do administrative work or receptionist work and I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind even being a residential manager only thing about residential manager I can work in an office but I can't go around and do heavy cleaning or nothing like that on apartments or maintenance once upon a time I could but I can't do the physical work no longer um, and then I'll be up in my exercise too at the Y because um, I need to get this body at start the muscles and everything and I need to get strong I need to get physically strong because and then with my blood iron work on that too keeping my blood iron up and keeping up with my um, I've got to go get my blood tested soon um, I was supposed to last Thursday but I didn't make it to the lab so maybe I will um, tomorrow or Friday so I can get my blood tested see where my iron levels are see if everything's my platelets and all that and see where they are at and see if everything is in good ranges so um, just a little update on me Catherine how I'm doing Katie um, cuz and I thank everybody for their prayers I thank everybody for their help those that's helped me financially those who have offered to make me meals those who have been in my corner from the first of the year on I've got an ant crawling on me stuff like that because your friendship is very much appreciated I've had some that have fallen away from me those who have said they need their distance or they need their processing time I know I'm too much for some people um, what you see is what you get and after a while there are times when people do get tired of me and I don't blame them because I am a big presence, I am a big energy. Um, when I'm down, I'm down. When I'm up, I'm up. I do have swings and moods and different things. And one thing I'm glad for is the two best friends I've had. One has been with me for about 25 years. Another best friend has been with me for over 30 years. And God knows I appreciate them. And I appreciate them like nothing else. I mean, just thinking about it makes me want to tear up. Um, because those two ladies have been with me through thick and thin, and I really appreciate them like nothing else. I mean, um, they know me at every stage of life and every mood, and they have stuck. So much, much, much love and appreciation, and I want the Lord to bless them richly. And I ask and I pray for them constantly that the Lord will continue to bless them and prosper them and send them good things. I do that for other friends too, but 
those two ladies are special to me and God knows who they are and they know who they are so but um, good day have a wonderful wonderful week namaste and shalom